going up to see Nita for a minute. You wait here for me. Great performance for dude. For dude? Didn't you enjoy it? Was I supposed to? Why, Jim, you're... I guess no one noticed it but me. But your smiles are supposed to be equally divided among the audience. But dude, the snake got them all. You're right, dear. But I was obeying orders. Orders? Oh, I get it. Making a mountain out of him and a molehill out of me. Excuse me for a moment, folks. Tommy didn't come home for dinner. That shouldn't worry you. Maybe he's... Come in. I just ordered a couple of drinks to be served here in your dressing room. A highball for me and a Tom Collins for you. Did I guess your drink? No. No? Then you can have anything you want. I'm not drinking. Oh, but you deserve one. You were wonderful tonight. Oh, I, I didn't mean to slight you. Uh, Run down to the bar and order yourself a drink. Tell him it's on me. No, thanks. Just what are you trying to do? Put on the dog for her? Why, this is the first time I ever heard of a tin horn gambler turning down a freebie. Why, you... No, Jim. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fight this. I have too much respect for you. Are you sure it's respect for her? Or fear of my right? Let's go outside. Jim, please, don't. You're going out all right, because I'm going to throw you out. any good, I wouldn't have got it. What have you been up to? Who, me? Yes, you. What's been going on here? Oh, officer, the boys have just been playing. Hello, darling. Hello, Nita. Hello, Lanny. They've been playing awful rough. Well, you see, they was teaching us some new dance steps, and my feet sure got hot. This doesn't look like you, Jim McCoy. Who fired the shot? Nobody fired a shot here. Did they? Did my feet get that hot? Look for a gun, Dan. Anything you want to tell me, Nita? It wasn't anything, really, Lanny. You men better clear out of here. Better go, Jim. Wait for me after the show. Okay, Nita. I'll see you again, Nita. And I'll... And no more playing, Jim. You sent for me, Chief? Yes. What was that argument down in Nita's dressing room? Just that gambler, Jim McCoy. I told you I didn't want any trouble around this club. And above all, no shooting. You had that straight. And you had to drag the law in here. Well, everything worked out all right. It was no fault of yours. And if it happens again, you're well figured out for yourself. Okay, boss. It won't. But at least, now I got a couple of coppers to give me an alibi for tonight. <laughs> 